welcome to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming again and if you are new thanks for dropping in this is a compilation of my seven day six days it was meant to be seven days six days of doing mr london's workouts and and this is how it went let's get into it So this is day three and one thing I like about Mr. London's workouts is that he incorporates a warm-up session right at the beginning and a quick cool down at the end. So some of the videos were about 20 to 30 minutes long but you still manage to get a good um, warm-out and a good cool down. This day, I did the um, 20 minute hit dumbbell full body workout, and it's called light weights um, and no repeats, which was um, was was very good for me. I like that you just keep going instead of like repeating the same thing. I also like that there were floor exercises as well. Now, generally, floor exercises wouldn't be my favorite thing, but I feel I felt like he, uh, Mr. Ma Mr. London, I almost, <laughs> I almost called him Mr. Muscle. <laughs> Mr. London um, makes them enjoyable, so he had a few um, floor exercises to tone your tummy. Uh, right in the middle of the workout and then at the end as well it gets back into cardio and there's a bit of um, squatting which doesn't really feel like you're squat focusing on the squatting because you are doing something else like those um little kind of jump up and pick up a dumbbell and then put it back down or you kind of do high knees but you're using a dumbbell as well so it kind of distracts you away from like the type of workout you're doing and you're just focusing on the working art itself. I hope that makes sense. When I first started this workout challenge, I thought I'd do the Mr. Muscle Fupa Be Gone for seven days consecutively. But I'm not one who's able to do the same thing multiple times without getting bored. So I ended up doing different workouts. I think I only repeated one video throughout the seven days. But for each day, I was doing different workouts. So on this day, I was doing the Fix Mummy Belly in two weeks which is just um it's more it was mostly floor exercises and it's kind of like a good break um from the day before where it was high, kind of like high intensity fast paced all those things so this one was a bit better so i noticed that with this um with this uh, workout video it's mostly like doing abdominal work and just using your lower lower abdominal muscles so that's i'm like feeling it around here so i just don't like pause and and record that because i'm most likely going to forget after i've done the video after i've done the workout 
So let's continue. Is it just me? But I wanted to ask you, comment down below if you can relate to this. If I'm doing a workout, watching like um, a video on my laptop or on the TV, when it's time to go on your back and you can't actually see the instructor, what they're doing, <laughs> I tend to get confused. So I'd be doing one thing and then as you can see, like here I'm turning around so that I could maybe see the TV. So I do one thing and then I wonder, am I even doing this correctly? So then I'd like change and, and look at them and try to see if I'm actually doing the exercise correctly. So here I think it was, I don't know what these are, like lifting your leg up and you feel the, you kind of feel the heaviness of your leg. And in that way, you feel your stomach muscles um, working. And day four was done. Uh -uh, this work, this it really gets your thighs and your tummy. I think I think it's because I've already eaten. <laughs> I like this one. This is okay. I was sitting back. That's why I wasn't feeling it. I had decided to do the seated workout for back, abs, and arm fat, 14-day challenge. So obviously, I wasn't going to do it for 14 days because I was just doing different workouts per day. I would say this is my favorite one of Mr. London's workouts. I don't know. It's just it's just enjoyable. And I think it's because it's different from everything else that you maybe see out here on YouTube. I just having a to do a workout seated and feeling it in your thighs and feeling it in your tummy. Didn't really feel it much on my hands, but maybe it's because I was cheating. I don't know. I guess it turns out it wasn't recording. It only recorded like, I don't know, a minute. So I did the whole thing. It wasn't recording there's nothing i can do so yeah i'm all done anyway all done so we've come to the end of this particular video uh i've ended on day six but i thought i'd put i'd put the video out there and you guys can follow along um for my progress but what i think i'll do in future I think I'm going to record my um, kind of like my thoughts just straight after I've done the video because I feel like if you do it a day, a few days after, it doesn't, you don't really remember exactly how the workout was. You're just watching back on the clips and trying to um, just to remember what happened and how you felt. So in the future, I think I will just um, do the workout and give my opinion of what's happening on as 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 it is still fresh in my memory <laughs>